everybody. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. I am doing this video intro after recording the video that's going to follow it. Uh, in this video, I'm going to create an org uh, profile, GitHub profile for the Stateless Code organization. As you'll note from watching the video, we leave the mistakes in. The process for doing an organization repo readme is different than doing one for your own user profile. So we go down the path of kind of following what would be done for a user profile and it's slightly different for an org. So um, including that the, the readme is in the profile directory of that repo, not in the, um, the base of that. So it's not the base readme, it's like slash profile slash readme is what will map to your org's profile. Um, so um, we'll continue on with the video. I just wanted to note that here. And we also talk in the video about, I'm going to do my own GitHub profile. The video would have been too long if I had done that. So that's going to be in a separate video. This is just the stateless code organization profile that we're doing. Welcome to the stateless code cast. This is in a kind of a one-off episode. Uh, where we're going to take an action item for our most recent retrospective and try to implement it. So in this video, I'm going to try to create readme files on GitHub for my personal account, MS Dushman Jr., and my stateless code account. So um, this idea came from, we received a contribution on the Nerd Dice Ruby gem uh, from our Tharvai right here, um, and the way that um, it kind of struck me that there was some cool stuff in this GitHub profile. So I kind of took a look at the GitHub documentation for this. And the way you go about doing this is you create a, uh, an, a repository in GitHub that matches your username and you create a readme for it. So that's what we're going to attempt to do in this video here. I'm going to do stateless code first, and then I will do my um, personal uh, repository and um, hopefully link them together. So uh, we will start here on stateless code. And then I'm going to go into repositories and click on new repository. It needs to match the name of your username. Um, it needs to be public. It needs to have a readme file. Um, there will be no license and everything else is fine. Call this just with and we'll click on create repository here. And let's see what happens now if we go into stateless code. and see what it looks like as a non-logged in user. So as of right now, it doesn't look any different, probably because the uh, repository is exactly kind of just the initial updated item. Like my, my guess is that it doesn't match it until you've actually done something in this repository to, um, to do anything here. So we'll go here. And uh, since this is just a readme, I'm not gonna pull this down, use VS code and um, treat it like a normal code repo. I'm just going to click edit here and you can edit and preview like it, like we do with our other um, items here. So 
Um, we can see this. Oops, I just clicked the wrong thing. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do, so this is normal GitHub flavored markdown. So you go here, etc. You can click around and preview, see the different things that are um, going on here. Uh, so I'm going to pause and write the markdown, and then I'll come back when it's time for uh, kind of when I've got this the way I want it. If anything notable in the README occurs, I'll uh, go through it afterwards, but you don't need to sit on this video and watch me type. All right, so I've got a a version of this. You can see here that the editor uh, for the actual README file here doesn't have all of the normal GitHub Markdown editor features here. So I actually did the work in a uh, in a draft of an issue in one of my um, learning repositories here. So I'm going to copy this and paste it into here. And I also kind of lied about um, not going to um, pull this down and, and do some um, work with the repo in the command line. So. Uh, if we go here and take a look at the uh, the version of this, you can see that there's um, right now kind of a placeholder for the website links, and it's just the text website. The other links here, and I'll open one in a new page, uh, go here and um, we'll, we'll open those things. And then right now, it's just going to the uh, the page with the the text website. So what I'm planning on doing is getting, I've got a bunch of SVG uh, assets and images and stuff like that. And I figure this uh, stateless code repo provided that it doesn't um, break the display of this readme when I add it, I'm gonna add a, an assets folder here that I did with some of my work in the enough Inkscape to be dangerous video series. Um, again, I'm a developer, not a um, vector graphic specialist, but um, I've done a little bit of that and recorded videos of what I'm doing just so that um, other people can get from zero to somewhere. So I think we're pretty good to commit this. I'm going to uh, just kind of do the work like this to upload, open the link, make sure it's going to the right place. Do the same thing with the YouTube. You get the idea. So I'll, I'll pause and do that. You don't need to watch me test it. I'm just kind of showing the example of how you would test this before you go uh, and commit it. The assets folder here is a, um, where is it? So this doesn't exist yet. Um, so that's not a problem, um, but it's a relative link if we go and take a look at the uh, the file there. So whatever branch you're on, it will take you to, the, uh, to that folder. Once it exists, it'll be a dead link in this initial commit, and then I'll pull it down and commit the, uh, the assets in the following commit. So I'll pause and do the, uh, the testing here, I'll also um, draft the commit message. We can take a look at that afterwards uh, and then commit directly to the main branch. So I'll pause and do my uh, link testing um, from the preview here and I'll let you know if anything else comes up. All right, and this is why you go in and click through all of the links uh, before making your commits. So here in the enough Inkscape to be dangerous. You open this link and it goes to the stateless code retrospectives um, playlist. So I need to go in and edit that with the correct value, which I'll paste here to show that it's 
go into the right place. Make sure I'm editing it in the right place. So here. that in, review it again, and now I just made it worse. What did I do here? YouTube.com playlist. Oh, it's throwing in. GitHub's trying to help me out here, and they're not. Let me just modify the playlist portion of that string. Try it again. There we go. That's what we want. Close to the right. Got that. Got that. And then the other place where there was a dead link was in the unlicensed I had um, gone in and copied from the um, one of the repos that I had kind of that legal section there so uh, I do have it correct up here so I just need to make that edit to fix here um, license really don't like it when I'm trying to edit something and GitHub tries to fix things in the raw editing. It's like I always have autocorrect disabled on all of my Apple products because um, half the time or more than half the time they autocorrect into something incorrect uh, when I know what I'm doing. So uh, try that again. That's getting to the right place. Uh, so now I'll pause and write my commit message for this. All right, I've got my changes here, um, commit message. I'm going to hit the commit changes button. What happened? Let me hope that, okay, so it is there. Um, it just was showing the old version there. Now let's see if this surfaces in the repo here or the, the user profile. Uh, it does not. Viewing is public. Why does it say? Um, dot GitHub. Ah, so organizations are different. Let's 
that. Do that. Hit create repository. Um, we'll call it dot GitHub. Make it public. We will add the readme file and create the repository. So now we've got the dot GitHub here and we've got the dot stateless code. Um, I guess we can. I'm going to clone both of these repos. So let's hop into a command line here. I'm going to make a I'm going to make a subdirectory here. profile repo so it doesn't kind of clog up my main um, directory here. All right, so we're going to first clone the um, the repo here via HTTPS. GitHub CD. Well, we'll clone the other one too while we're at it. because we'll still wind up potentially using that stateless ho code um, GitHub as a, um, a reference um, for the, the assets. Um, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet. So we'll go into the um, org GitHub. We will copy the readme. So I do need the operand, get status. So we've got a readme now. Um, I will kind of, while I'm at it, um, we'll pull this up in close folder, or I'll just, yeah, I'll close the folder. And then from here we'll do dot so we've got just this um, github here and then uh, we'll leave that alone for now and see if I can get the um, the assets into the other repo so code and now I'm going to copy some stuff into this um, I'll pause and get it copied in um, I don't need to kind of show where in my local file file system all that stuff is be back in a moment all right so I'm gonna see if I can just get this all working with just that dot github repo um, so I've got the assets into here um, and hopefully I should be able to reference 
assets branding stateless code stateless logo dot SVG from the readme so everywhere we've got let me do a find here all those website areas we can replace with an image and we'll just change the icon and then we need to just make this a reference to assets sure I've got it correct here stateless logo dot SVG and I need that intermediate directory code with a capital C and then I want to replace all and then I think the assets that I was referring to that will still work as a relative path. So I think I can commit this Alright, so this is the root directory. We'll do a git add dot all of those branding assets will now be available um, kind of anywhere from GitHub as long as I uh, link it properly. And then uh, we want to also have an image here. And I think I can do that with the I might just see if I can do that. Well, we'll see. I'll pause and look up the syntax. All right, I'm gonna give this a go, seeing as how that's how I did the other ones. I'm going off of um, the what uh, Atharva did on his profile. Um, we'll see how it works. So save that, do another git add git commit, sign it, write my message. All right, I've got my commit message here, fairly straightforward, and we will see whether this works or not. So I'm going to do git push u origin master main So now let's see if we go to the repo, why is 
is this not working? Perhaps it's because I have other stuff in there. So this works. All of the image tags are messed up. So I'll fix that. This is seriously messed up. Well, true to making those, uh, leaving those mistakes in. Huh. All right. Well, let me take a look at. Probably got a syntax error in here somewhere. So, image. That is closing. Paragraph. We close the paragraph. We've got a source, width, height, alt. That's all working. And then I probably need to maybe add a line break here. I don't know. And then all of our, it's probably just because we've got malformed HTML. I'll, I'll make those fixes to the, um, to the links and then um, redo like a git commit amend and a force push uh, to see if that will solve things. I'll pause and do that. All right, so I've got that fixed. Adding it back in the end of those link tags, we will get add dot, get commit amend, sign no edit, And then get push, force push it. See whether that fixes things. Our links are still broken here. blank. Oh, I didn't also do the opening tag here. All right. And I need to fix those with that with that do another round of force pushing here see if we have properly formed all right, we've got properly formed stuff. Create a Ruby gem. That seemed to work. Now let's go back to stateless code. And we're still not seeing at a pro slash profile readme to need to move it. So need to get move read me and get move. 
remove readme profile. Actually, and we'll still want potentially that uh, git checkout, whatever our previous commit was. This value, oops. Get status. So now we've got our file and then our profile file. Now we need to go and change all of the assets. them with that value get uh, dot get get commit amend no edit get push Let's see now. All right, so we got it wrong. So it's going to blob assets and branding, stateless code, wallpaper, code along, which seems like it should be the correct reference for that. Maybe I need an absolute reference here. Yeah, it works in the, the folder, so I need absolute references to all of those assets files. So we will go into the assets, take this as an example, Actually, if I'm going to do that, I probably want them just in the normal stateless code dot git instead of the hidden one. Huh. It's got like dot underscores and stuff like that weird all right so yeah I'm gonna so going to put those in the stateless code um, repo and um, refer, refer to them that way, because I, I don't know. It seems like there's some weird stuff going on with this hidden repo stuff. So um, I will switch to stateless code. And then Assets and then cp dot r org repo dd 
assets. All right, that gives me what I want there. So I will now, uh, let's see here. So essentially, if we go back here, the relative link version of this will work for the um, for this version. So we're going to copy that. We're going to open this. No, we're going to go back a directory. And another directory. Too many directories, but this should give me what I need. So we will status get add dot get commit. Sign it. Get push origin main. Let's check that out in stateless code, stateless code. Assets, branding, that seems like it should be accurate. That's going to the GitHub assets. So that's the, all right, let's take a look at the stateless code repo and the readme file. Those are working. The assets reference is working. Everything is good there. So now back in the org one, we want essentially all of those assets references that we're making assets copy link address in this is the org github version so go to the profile readme They make this complicated for orgs. Hopefully my personal one will be a bit easier here. Uh, so for all of these, we need to replace dot dot assets. We've got eight of them with GitHub stateless code blob main assets. And then I think we can do a, instead of having two separate versions here, we'll do a get status git back into the org repo, get status, did I not save? 
I did not save. Diff. diff. All right, that all seems good. And then we're just going to do a git rmr assets. Status, get add profile, get status. All right, now we'll force push again. Actually, amend the profile. Um, ref says do and uh, repo. GitHub. Okay, that. I somehow. Let me take a look. Get status. Alright. Did I do it in the wrong one? No, now it's my editor is gaslighting me here. All right, that looks correct. So we'll get push, force it. All right, now for the moment of truth. Stateless code. The links and the assets folder I bet I need to fix now. Yeah, that's kind of 404. So that's the one last fix I think I need. We will go in and fix that. Inkscape. Well, all right, hopefully our final final And sign no edit get push dash F new links to be tested that works and
let's go back to hit this code now and let's see if the assets folder works. Yep, all right. So the org branding or kind of org readme is done. I think we've gone long enough on this video. I'll do a separate video for my personal one. Um, if I had known how different they were, I would have like just done the one video, but um, given that uh, personal repos are apparently structurally different than org, um, org organizations and stuff like that, uh, we'll make them separate videos. So we'll see you in the next video, which will probably be me working on my own profile. Code along on an end-to-end -end journey through the creation, design, and development of a Ruby on Rails application for managing tabletop role-playing games. We start from Rails New and will guide you along the journey of the entire life cycle of the application. You'll get to see real-life, real-world problems and challenges as we try to deliver value for our users. Visit statelesscode.com to level up. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.